Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Cart. So in this tutorial we are going to learn about this permutation function from Peter Tools in Python. So let me first explain you about the syntax. So it is quite similar to the very first one combination. It is similar to the very first combination. Here we have permutations. We just have one difference. Here this is combination, this is permutations, and it also takes two parameter x and y. So same x is iterable and y is the length. So if you haven't seen my this combination video, I will suggest you to go and watch this combination video because each and everything will be same. We just have to import these permutations from the iter tools. Rest each and everything are similar in this problem. So this problem is totally similar to the combination problem. So please go and watch that video so that it will be quite easy for you. So let me first go and explain you the problem. So let me explain you this problem here. Here also we have the same statement like the combination in the previous problem. Here they are saying that permutations are printed in lexographical sorted order. If the input it travels is sorted, the permutation tuples will be produced in sorted order. It means they are saying they are saying that when we are passing this string in the permutation function in a sorted order, we will get the desired output also in a sorted order. So in this problem, what we have to do here is they will provide one string and one length. So we have to find the total permutation for that length. So in combination, they have said that we have to find up to that length means for one also and for two also in the combination problem. But here they are direct means they will provide the length and we have to just print the total permutation for that length. So the code will be quite similar like the combination one. So let us copy this code because everything is similar. I will suggest you to go and watch that combination problem explanation. You will learn each and everything. Because there I have explained in these two methods using two for loop and after that we have used a single line and where I have explained this sequence. So you will get there. How the things are working and in this problem we have to use permutation and everything is similar the very first line is they will pass the sample input we have to take this input in a string type we are splitting so that we can get the string and the next value is the number so where we are converting that into integer type and we have to pass this string in sorted form so that we can get the desired output also in the sorted form as per the question. So we are using the sorted for the string. Now here we don't have to use this for loop because we have to simply use one print statement to get the total permutation for that given length. But in combination they have asked we have to find the total combination up to that length. Suppose this two it means we have to first find the total combination for length one then length two. If we are passing our length 3, then we have to first find the combination of the length 1, then length 2, then length 3. That's why we have used a for loop in the combination problem. But in the permutation, they are saying we have to just find the total permutation for that given length. So nothing is required here. We just have to change this to permutation. We are changing this to permutation and our string is the iterable and the length is saved in a number. So we are done. This is our code and how these things are working. Here we have used this permutation to get the total permutation. So this is our very first thing. After that, we have used this map. Here we have used this map to join all the values of this permutation to convert that into a string. Okay. So second task is Second task is of the map which is converting all the permutation value into the string. Once they are converted into the string, we are saving that in a list. So this is third task. And when we are printing the value, we have to print in a single single line. So we have used your unpack operator to get only the values of the list, not the bracket form. You can see this combination video. I have shown that in detail. So this is the third task after that we are printing the value we are printing the value and when we are printing the value you have to print in a single single separate line so this is the fifth operation so this is the last fifth operation so let us execute 
here we have to pass the value hack and suppose i'm passing two as a length so when i executed so i got this desired output and this is the same as this one the sample output so we are done so let us copy this code and execute everything is similar to combination problems so again i am saying please go and watch that video so that everything will be clear to you let me paste here and execute this code let us run this code and see so it is passing the sample test case let me submit this code so congratulations it is passing all the sample test case so that's all for this problem so this problem is quite related to the combination problem so i haven't explained each and everything in detail so i suggest one more time to please go and visit that video you will understand each and everything i have explained there with two solution one with using two for loop and the second one i have removed that for loop and also why i have used unpack operator also i have explained in detail so that's all for this problem thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos thanks for watching